Okay guys, uh, we're just going to show you a little demo on how to uh, trim up uh, the hocks and the feet and the feathers. And uh, we're, gonna, we're also going to do the pads in that. So we're just finishing up this one here. And um, I just wanted to show you the difference there of what you could achieve. So we left this side long and we're going to show you how to uh, trim the feet and the hocks. Okay, we're just going to start off with the pads. So we'll just get all the hair out of the pads. We have our 30 blade. Just doing slight little taps. Um, we use a 30 blade because it's a little bit better than using a 10 blade. You don't have to dig as much. And try to grab as much hair around the toe area as you can. It'll just save your scissoring time for later. He's got a little bit of calcification going here. Uh, it's very common uh, in, in dogs. Um, you, could, you could use a, a little pad wax on that. Um, this is, a, it's paw wax. There's a number of dif different types, uh, but you just simply, it's like, it's like a little uh, chapstick and you just get some on your finger. Um, use a glove or you can use a cotton swab and you just wanna you know, apply that on there. Um, and, and it protects the pad, especially in the winter months with, you know, ice and, uh, you know, even, even in the summertime, the pavement can get very hot. And by using the pad wax, it uh, helps to protect that. So that's something you could uh, look into. We'll, we'll, we'll list that in the link down below for you if you're interested in that. Uh, okay, so we're just going to continue. We did our pads. So we're going to now start off doing the the hawk area and this back foot here. So I'm going to come behind and I'm just going to do the hawk first. And I'm just combing that down and just trimming that down like that. And I'm going to get the inside also over here. What you want to do once you do that is you have to lift the foot again. Just kind of get all of this by this pad here. Again, he's got that little bit of calcification, so you want to be careful with that. Just comb through it. And once again, just go over it again. Okay. So once you do the hawk, now we could start on the foot. So you could take your slicker brush and just brush up the, the, fur, the hair. Take your slicker brush and just brush the hair up. And then just come around. And then you can go from the inside like this and see that angle there. And we're just trimming the top there. Just going to have to periodically just clear the hair away. And then we'll approach it from the front here. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just lift the foot. Try not to lift it too high and support the foot at the same time. They may pull away, but just let them and just reset. Give them a little break. You don't want to hold the foot too long. And then we'll do it again. This left uh, back foot is always tough because it's a tough angle. Okay, I'm getting a little tired, so we'll put it down again. Just keep brushing up until you get all of that hair that's in between the toes. And then just go over it again, comb down, and just try to try to blend it best you can. 
You could do this on uh, on a shell tee, which th that's what we're doing it on now. Um, the same concept goes for, like, say, a golden retriever or even a Springer Spaniel. Uh, any dog with you know that that uh, has feathers, uh, feathering, you know, uh, you could you could use that technique on. So it's pretty universal. If you see anything in between the toes, you can use your finger, just lift it up, and just come from behind like that. Just, you know, you can just grab hair like this and go over it. You know, you're always going to go over your work with this. You know, and you just hold your scissors at all different angles. I'm coming from inside this way. I'm scissoring upside down, you know, coming around like this. You know, just you can comb up some hair. You come this way. Um, whatever angle works for you, uh, you know, you, th that's what you should do. Anything that feels comfortable for you. Uh, but I would practice your, you know, your wrist angles so that you can uh, just be more versatile as, as far as your scissoring is concerned. And even here, you're coming this way and just up and over, you know, and then you're coming from behind. You can come this way, you know. So I'm using curved scissors because uh, they tend to get a little bit more of an angle. So the, these are um, these are eight and a half uh, curved shears. You can notice how th there's a curve there. That that slight little curve allows you to get that scissor tip in areas that you wouldn't normally be able to with a straight shear. Um, and just by using the, the tip part of it, you could still get a straight edge cut on it too. So I, I really do like the uh, the curved shears. Um, for stuff for stuff like this okay, so that's your back foot just like that it's not that difficult and then we're going to do the same thing with the front foot just once again just scissoring that hair out you know, always give them little breaks you know And you can use your fingers to just kind of pull up the hair that's in between the toes like that, if any. Good boy. There's a little hawk area here too. You have a little pad that's hidden away right back in here. So you want to be very careful not to hit that with the scissors. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of clip this hair first just to make a little clearing. What I do is I put my index finger on that pad so that we're not cutting it. So that we're not cutting that little, that little pad up there. And then we'll comb the rest down like this. It's okay. Papa. And we'll just angle the rest of the feathers, just like that. We'll blend it. And as they set their leg down, then you can approach it from this angle here. And you're kind of scissoring backwards and down. Just blending that in. Just like that. And you can see how nice and even it's coming out. And down here we could just blend a little bit. Some people like it to blend. That that's you could leave it that way, um, or you could just blend the whole thing into one into the foot. Um, but don't forget to get the inside as well. Here we we have to get right in here as well. If you can get that. And actually just see I'm just kind of twisting his leg just so gently don't do it hard and get inside there just get them to and then move their move their foot and again you're just going over it any little straggly pieces of hair you just grab and 
step away. So sometimes uh, as groomers, you get too focused. Step away and then so you, that you could see better how it's coming out. You might notice something from afar and then you can just come back in and, 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 and grab it. Sometimes the dogs will pull away. Um, if they do, you have to really time your scissor strokes because if they pull away as you're stroking the scissor, uh, it may, uh, you know, you may chop into it. I just wanted to take that a little shorter there and I'm just gonna blend it right into the foot now. Just like that. Okay guys, so that's about it. It's a, just a good way to trim up the, the hocks and the feet and the feathers. As you can see, it comes out real nice, it looks pretty. But uh, yeah, give it up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe so we can show you more tips. And uh, thanks again for tuning in guys.